Welcome and namaste to my channel everyone. I'm Varun from Prune Studio and today we'll learn how to create 3D liquid type something similar to this. These were basically one of my explorations that I did during 36 days of type earlier this year which you can see on my Instagram just like this. So let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and this is where we will create the model. Start with the text tool and write the character, scale it and then create outlines. Change the color to something like this. Align it just like that and go to object, paths and do offset paths. Keep it somewhere like this. Let's just change the color. So the outside shape is going to be the class and the shape inside will be the liquid. But we don't want the liquid to be exactly filling the shape. So we will use the pencil tool and create a wavy shape so that it resembles water. While this is selected, select this shape. And using shape builder tool, let's just delete this, this part. So hold Alt or Option key and click here. And we don't need this shape as well. So this is the glass and this is the liquid that we need. So now we're going to apply 3D effects. Go to Effect, 3D Materials, Strude and Bevel. And I think I will keep it at 100. Use Bevel, Round and just decrease this. Keep a Bevel so that it bounces off some light off the edges so that it shows us highlights. I think it looks nice. Repeat the process for this shape as well. So now we are ready to export these two shapes. We have our models ready. You go to asset, click on this icon. You have these two selected. Go to format and choose OBJ and then hit export. And the part for Adobe Illustrator is done. Here we are in Adobe Dimension. This is where we will render our scene. So go to file, import 3D model and import them one by one. We can't see properly, so we're going to apply the material first. This is the one material that we want to apply on the glass, that's damaged glass. For the liquid part, we only want to keep glass. So now uh, we have to align it first, so that it's properly where we want it to be. So it should be in the center. Let's just do it from the front as well. doesn't have to be perfect but something so that it looks like it's actually inside and we're going to change the color of the liquid to something that resembles water we will change the camera to orthographic and let's just keep it above the ground and toggle grid and then we'll do a quick render preview to look at it. You might have to wait for a few seconds to let it render. You can even change the background color. And that's basically it. That's how you get the effect that you had seen that I'd shown you previously. I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.